Welcome to Tango Tasters. I'm Ian Matthews and today we're going to be revisiting maps. We've looked at maps already to some extent by the session we did on Mexico and using it to sort of look between the Aztec era and the present day era via transparencies. Today we're going to look at maps a bit differently. We're going to look at it in terms of a lesson on biology, specifically about the habitat of the snow leopard. Now the snow leopards themselves come from a central, um, uh, central Asian region, sorry, that is somewhere between Afghanistan and Pakistan. It's called the Wakan Corridor Nature Refuge. And based on what Google Maps is showing us here, it looks quite green. But that's not really true to life, because green, in Google terms, is just to sort of show off different park areas. What we want to be able to say is actually what it looks like in real life, so we can understand the habitat of the snow leopard. I can change the type of map by clicking on Aerial, see? And it's going to provide us with a landscape. Could also click on it and provide us with a hybrid map, which gives us not only the background as well, but also the layers between um, borders, names, and so on. If I start to zoom into this, what I can do is get a flavour of what the area looks like the closer it is to ground level. So in this case, we can see that this entire region is quite barren, it's quite mountainous, there's lots of snow, there's not much green at all. And that would make sense given what the snow leopard looks like. The snow leopard would actually blend in quite well to an environment like that. And partly that's one of the reasons they're so difficult to locate and help, frankly. In this image, there is a snow leopard right in the centre of the frame, but it's almost impossible to see it unless you know exactly where it is. It is, in fact, if I just show you here, right there. And even zooming in, it might be still quite difficult to see it, but there's the head, there's the tail, there's the body in between. So, being used, able to use maps in this way helps give a bit of context, I suppose, towards the lesson you're trying to do. So, if it is just to show how endangered a snow leopard is, you might want to start looking at the environment, using a map in this way to help give it a bit of context. 